about the real life consequences of AI that are happening right now. So the AI that you're using, your social media apps, it doesn't exist in a cloud. It exists in a data center. What look like giant warehouses, but they really house all of these servers. One critical thing is the amount of electricity that these data centers require. Business Insider calculated as a range. On the low end, that's as much as the state of Ohio used in 2023, their entire electricity use. On the high end, it's about as much as Florida used in that same year. So let's talk about data centers impact on local economies. All of these different cities across the country are racing to have data centers build in their areas. In Ohio, cities are making these deals with large companies like Amazon that are very profitable. What we found is that for every full-time long-term job that's employed at a data center, Amazon might be saving as much as a million dollars in taxes that they don't pay to the state or the cities. And what jobs do come from data centers are pretty much in their construction and wrap up long before your economic development deal is done. And data centers are also contributing in major ways to air and water pollution. Because of data centers skyrocketing electricity demand, a lot of utilities are starting to say, we can't meet this demand without relying more and more on fossil fuels. So this is causing more and more air pollution. The power generation for these data centers could contribute $5.7 to $9.2 billion of annual public health cost in numbers of hundreds of thousands of additional asthma cases that can be wheezing, tightness of the chest, difficulty breathing, and can be hundreds of additional deaths each year. And what is it like living next to these giant data centers? So these residents are living right next to these industrial facilities that are running 24-7, and they're making this really ominous drone noise. So it's a constant noise of their cooling fan. Some residents told us that they can actually hear it inside their houses, and some had to sleep in the basement because they couldn't sleep. And how are data centers deepening the water crisis? So to power those data centers, you need a huge amount of electricity and those servers get really hot, so you need something to cool them. Sometimes data centers are using water to cool their servers. They're finicky drinkers. They only really wanna use drinking water. Data centers are competing directly with residents who are living in the desert where there's already not enough water to go around. Business Insider requested records of how much water every data center is using. We've got a lot of redacted records, and in two cases, cities actually sued us to prevent the release of those records. There's a lot of interest in the promise of AI, but the costs are already right here, and they're impacting us today.